Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another video and uh, this time I'm here to talk about the most memorable ROM of 2017 according to me. So uh, stay tuned for that. So guys, 2017 saw a lot of ROMs. In 2017 alone, I flashed about 70 to 80 ROMs on this device that is the OnePlus 3 and that is what I want to talk about. There has been a lot of ROMs. Some ROMs were amazing, some ROMs were meh and some other ROMs left a lasting impression. I have to say that most of the ROMs for our device has been amazing. I really enjoyed using them. But uh, some of them were mundane, some of them were uh, just played. But these ROMs which I'm going to list actually made a long lasting impression and these are the ones which I have been recommending to people for their particular needs. Now a quick disclaimer, I am a huge believer that there is no best ROM for a device. The best ROM is the one which you seem to be having the most out of and uh, it is different for every other people. And this is not a comprehensive list. This list is what I feel is the most memorable ROMs for me. It may not be what you will agree with and that is the beauty of a list. And no disrespect to any developer. I know firsthand how difficult it is to, to develop a ROM. I had been doing that really really old and earlier times. And I understand the difficulties involved in making a ROM. It's not easy to make a ROM let alone something which is out of this world so I understand that I respect all the developers and I don't really want anyone to be offended by my choices here and on my list again all my list are going to be pairs of ROMs because I think these two ROMs do have enough similarities that I'm going to pair them up so I'm gonna list five ROMs now with that being said let's get to the ROMs which I feel really made an impression on me and uh, I think are really great for the year 2017. Well, in no particular order, the first one is Zenity RR or Zenity Nogad ROM and the Nisoni Ashes Resurrection Remix ROM. Now, if you know me, I am a huge stickler for features. I like lots of features in my ROM. I don't really care too much about stability and performance. Um, as long as Bat Life is okay, I need features and uh, Resurrection Remix is the feature king ROM. There is no other ROM with as much features as the Selection Remix and I love it for that fact. Uh, it's been working out really well for me. The, right now I am using Nisoni Ashes the Selection Remix ROM because I think it is one of the better implementation along with Zenity RR which is near and dear to my heart. Zenity RR is an EAS ROM of course and it does have its own performances and its own good things going on for this one. Uh, nice only Ashes ROM does have a little bit other options and uh, one of the some one of the stuff which I really like is the screen stabilization option which comes inbuilt on this ROM which is amazing I really really like that uh, it's been working out really well for me when I was commuting on trains and buses so that is something which I really like uh, so yeah these are ROM, two of the ROMs which make made one of the biggest impression on me in this year now the next one is AOXP Extended and AOXP Extended Phoenix Edition. Both of these ROM are my picks for the amazing ROMs they are. They are based on AOXP, they are based on cap sources. So you are going to get great battle life, great performance and great overall experience with it. It does have a ton of features, not as much as Resurrection Remix but still amazing amount of features. I really like that. And hey, it's AOXP, it's CAF, it has a great options available. Phoenix AOSP was the one with EAS kernel, with the OS camera support, with Google camera support, with a lot of little tweaks over the AOSP extender which made it a little bit more desirable. But alas, development seized on that and uh, the developer moved on to Pure Fusion ROM. But AOSP extended still continued until recently. Now the next ROM is Vertex ROM and Sultan XDA's Lineage ROM. Now these are the bare basic ROMs with great battle life. That is what this Excel set. It has great battle life, the best battle life of any ROMs which I tested on OnePlus 3 
and it has been working out very well. It's not a very feature rich ROM. Vertex ROM still has OMS support so you can customize a little bit on that but Sultan XDA's Lineage ROM doesn't even have OMS support but it is one of the most battery friendly ROMs which I've tried out on the OnePlus 3 and if you want battery life this is the ROM to go for as of right now. Now let's let's welcome a very uh, missed ROM in my opinion. AOSPA Paranoid Android. Paranoid Android made a huge comeback in 2017. It's been gone for a while and uh, Paranoid Android was one of the guru ROMs which I call Lineage, Paranoid Android and AOKP. These were the guru ROMs of initial ROM development. Lineage was called Cyanogen Mod. The return of Paranoid Android has been great. It has been working out really well. AOSPA, they did the team of AOSPA or Panoid Android did work with OnePlus to give us a great experience and I can watch for that. It's working out really good. And paired with AOSPA is another one which is also called Panoid Android Extended that is AOSPA EXT which improves on Panoid Android with few subtle differences with a few subtle extra features which Again, I am a feature jerk, I like a lot of features in my ROM and that PO, PA extended ROM just push it, pushes it ever so slightly into my favor, so that is the reason I like it. I still have AOSP extended ROM in my SD card because if, at any time if I want, if, I'm, if my ROM gets worked up, I still have a backup and AOSP extended is my backup as of now. Now, on, moving on to the next one. This one was kind of a sad story, at least in my opinion, because Desolation ROM. Desolation ROM was this amazing ROM which was taken away too quickly in my opinion. But we all have to understand it is it was the developer's choice. I, I can't really blame him for that it's very difficult to develop for a device and uh while the fun lasted it was amazing the battery life was amazing i was really blown away the, with the battery life which i got with this rob it had a lot of features almost rivaling asp extended and phoenix asp but not quite there but the battery life was amazing the performance was out of this world the battery life was great the stability was really rock solid i really liked the rom but it was taken away from us too quickly but it still left a long lasting impression for me and paired with that is also Sultanized Resurrection Remix ROM and uh, I know there are two developers who are making the Sultanized Resurrection Remix ROMs I understand that and both of them are really great you can choose one or the other it's amazing and uh, Resurrection Remix has never been known for good battle life but Sultanized Resurrection Remix ROM does actually make a ton of sense for me if you want a little bit better battle life with Resurrection Linux features. So that has been working out really well for me. I did try it out. It was amazing. I really like it. So there you have it. That is my five picks for most memorable ROM. I, again, I don't want to say these are the best ROMs. I never say one is the best ROM over the other because best ROM is for the person to decide. It may not, what is best for me may not be the best for you. You have to keep that in mind. Now I do have a few honorable mentions which I did consider for this five picks. Few of them, uh, first one is OmniROM. OmniROM actually made a comeback this year because OmniROM in my opinion was uh, was put on the back burner by a lot of developers. It was there, but it was not the center stage. And with audio, especially, OmniRom has come to the front stage, and I really, really appreciate that. OmniRom was amazing in its day, and I really, really like that. It's great to see that coming. I hope it does more better in the coming days. Another ROM which I really, really appreciated was Triple X No Limits ROM. It is a stock-based ROM, which is amazing. I really like stock-based ROMs for the simple factor that this is that is something which you can fall back to if everything goes wrong. And uh, it is one of the ROMs which I really, really appreciate. It is something which I cannot appreciate more in my opinion. XXX No Limits also has a lot of things in the Roma installer which is going to enhance your experience with that. It works out really well for most of the things which I really like. Uh, you can also consider Experience OS yeah, if you want to use uh, the same basic stock Oxygen OS options with a little bit more bloat free manner. So that's something there. It's also something which I really appreciate. Another ROM is Pure Fusion ROM. 
and the pure fusion rom has been amazing and uh recently pure fusion rom has also moved into oreo which is amazing i've already made a video of that and it is as of now my favorite oreo rom uh works out really well that's another thing now again in oreo space the main reason i'm not uh choosing oreo for my daily driver is the uh, features it doesn't really have a lot of features but there are exceptions validus oreo rom and nitrogen oreo rom these are the two roms with a lot of features and these were the first ones to bring the feature list to oreo and i really really like that validus primarily but nitrogen still had a little bit more of my favorite because i mean you know this is something which i really like so yeah these roms also bring a lot of features to an otherwise barren oreo rom so that is something there and also carbon rom carbon rom was has also made a comeback i have a lot and a lot of memories with carbon rom and the heroics which i played with that uh, it works out really well carbon rom has been one of my favorite rom in the s3 era and uh, it making a comeback i really really appreciate that it has been working out really well for me uh and i really do see want to see it in oreo space with the same vigor which, which, which it was in nougat so i'm really looking forward to that and now last but not the least i want to congratulate i want to say thanks to the linux rom in, in oreo and that is the first rom which i tried with oreo which allowed encryption my device was encrypted at the time and i could not try out oreo roms uh with this one so linux os was amazing it worked out really well it was the first rate of taste of oreo which i received and it worked out really well for me so i really like that so yeah i guess that should be it about what i wanted to talk about in my most memorable roms of 2017 a lot of people did ask me about the best roms of 2017 and uh, again i have already said best rom doesn't exist but i did want to give a little bit of uh spotlight to these roms which i've listed because this actually had a little bit more impact on me now all the other roms which were in 2017 and uh, i did not mention it doesn't mean that your roms were bad uh, to, to, to the developers if anyone is listening and to the users who are still using those roms there are a few other roms which actually did make uh, me like want to use that rom like venom rom venom rom was amazing it worked out really well i, I really appreciate that but the it uh, the these roms these top 5 picks especially actually jumped at me and i really really felt a difference with that rom so that is the only reason i have gone with that so yeah i hope you can agree with the list if if you don't agree with it well, i mean it's a list you don't need to worry about it and you don't need to work up against it so yeah that's something there hope you guys like the video please subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye